In front of me is the LEGO Alien Conquest Alien Defender from 2011, which originally retailed for $10 and has 105 pieces. Let's get into the build and then the review. The first minifigure is the ADU Soldier, and I love the outfit. There's some really good printing on the torso and legs that continues on the back of the torso as well. It's not unique, but his face piece is, which was common with series at this time. He has some orange sunglasses on the front of his face, and on the back he still has those sunglasses with a surprise look. I love the helmet design too, which they later used for Galaxy Squad, so we have an overall solid minifigure. The second minifigure is the Alien Pilot, which just captures that great retro alien feel that this series brought. The headpiece is distinct with big eyes and some brain detailing on the top, as well as the large underbite, and then under it there are some great details for the pilot suit with metallic silver and pink, with lots of tubes and tech along the alien as well. There is no back printing, which kind of sucks, but that's okay because the rest of the minifigure is pretty good. Then we have the Alien Blaster, which is a simple yet great mold. The piece is fully retro with the different layers that kind of look like a Tesla coil, and it works perfectly with the Alien to complete the aesthetic that it's trying to bring. That gives us another solid figure for this set. The Alien Pilot is given this small vehicle to invade Earth, and it has some nice little details like the teeth on the back and the blasters on the front. I don't like that the joystick is in red because it really is jarring compared to the rest of the color scheme. Of course, the pilot has enough space to be sat down and he can grab the joystick with one of his free hands and then you can fly it around and get some fun play out of this tiny vehicle. If you want, you can store the blaster on the back of the ship where that open stud is and have two hands free for the pilot. The side build is fun, but I wish it included some purple like the other vehicles in this series. We then have the Alien Defender, which is an armored buggy with some weapons that they can use to defend against the alien invasion coming to Earth. And it feels simple, yet it has a lot of details, like the pistols used as some engine detailing here. And it includes a lot of stickers, which most of them are not straight, as I built this set originally when I was 7. But they do add some nice details, especially around the controls, which give it the feel that you can do a lot more with this vehicle. The buggy, aside from all the buttons, also has two joysticks, which is odd when you'd expect a steering wheel, but it doesn't really matter as this is a playset and it doesn't have to be realistic. The driver fits comfortably in the cockpit, and the brown piece behind it alludes to a cushion for his head. On the back, there is another sticker for a license plate, as well as some lights, and then some flick fire missiles, which when used with two hands can provide a fun play feature to attack the aliens with. Together, both builds add a lot of play. I know I had fun with this one as a kid, since you could already have the two forces fighting with just this $10 set. Looking back at the Alien Defender, this set was definitely a good one. It had 105 pieces for only $10, so that ratio for price per piece is pretty good. It has two minifigures and two builds, which offered me a lot of fun as a kid, even with this small of a set. Though I haven't reviewed any of the rest of the series, I do think this is one I'd recommend to people if they want to buy it after the fact. And even though I've seen it for maybe double the price, that is only $20. And for what you're getting in the age that it has, being over 13 years and only costing that much is definitely a steal in my book, based on all of the other terrible deals I've seen on the LEGO resale market. With that all said, I'm Nico Town, and thank you for watching and listening.